tuning in to a new episode of Welcome to My Neighborhood on Silver TV. The term grandson came from when I was in jail. Some old head, he got to calling me grandson and shit. Then he said, I be acting how I move and shit. They start calling me grandson and I, I've been running with it ever since. Right now I'm in an area called Killer War. This is where I grew up at. I went to grammar school on 70, what, 6 and Walcott. Like kindergarten or 8th, kindergarten or 8th grade. This is the area, so this play a um, big part of my life. I grew up to be in bed, game banging around here and shit. Growing up wasn't really rough. It was decent, it was a regular life. Like we had everything we needed and shit, we just ain't had too much. Between like I kindergarten through school in eighth grade, I was just going to school, you know, doing shit, you know. Probably getting a little trouble doing a little shit, but playing sports, you know, I ain't start like, you know, getting in trouble or nothing until like high school, 15, 16 years old. Grammar school, it's just, you know, childhood memories fun, running around being bad fights. Get caught for stealing or something, little petty shit like that. Oh yeah, it's always been a lot of people outside though, for sure. I know it's an area where everybody be outside, everybody. Like whole blocks before the shit. And the area stretch from like what, 75th to 83rd, Ashton, like on him. You that been sleeping on the floor. I remember the bull be at the Jordan Court. Now the significance in old block the name came from my homie OD Perry passed away and shit. So it's passed away like what, August 2011, I wanna say, yeah. So that's what we got the name. Growing up over here, shit, it was like a regular hood. I was with my homies and shit, all my friends, so we grew up playing, you know, kicking it and shit. Then we got older, still kicking it, but other shit got to happen and shit. You know how that shit goes. But like, where we at, it's, it's low income and shit. Like, all these low income projects and shit, so it wasn't a lot of money. So, you know, it tend to be where it ain't a lot of money, it's a lot of violence. So, growing up in hell, shit, I was going to jail a lot of shit. When I got locked up for the drama and shit, like, Dirk was the main one supporting me and shit, helping me, so. So we got even closer when I was just in jail. Then I got out. He flew me out there with him and shit. Got the rapper. So me and Dirk, you know, we like. You know, we've been like locked in. Like since we was younger. My brother Bernie put us in tune. We just like locking in real heavy. Man, well, I think he's going on prom. I gave him my watch to go on prom. He going on prom, he locked up the next day with. So when he came out, he was like, oh yeah, we locked in. So that shit was crazy. Dirk really, he inspired me as an artist, shit. And then around him, seeing him doing this shit, and I like, let me do this shit too, let me try to do this shit, folks, make this shit happen. Me and Dirk Evil Twin Project, we working on it now. Like, we trying to see how much money they gonna get us for that, but ain't no date, we just got a lot of songs. You see what I'm saying? We could put out three Evil Twin Project, but we're gonna put it out when it's the right time. So the vibe, when I go back to the crib, shit, I go back to Parkway, you know, I see all my old, you know, friends, all the guys out there. All um, the guys' mamas and shit. Go see everybody, like grandmas, mamas, and all the kids be out there and shit. You gotta throw something up. I'm gonna pass it out money, really, mostly back right there. I'm gonna go home. I'm passing out money, doing this, and I don't be really, I don't be trying to record. Just be kicking, vibing with everybody and shit. Cool, catching up. The goals I got for 2021, I'm like, damn, I'm trying to, you know, everybody goes, go up to another notch. I done did all the touch base with, like, the little, like, the family shit. Now I'm trying to have the community. Now I'm trying to get places like this about, um, little daycares and shit. Just anything to generate money and make the community better and shit. Now I got a lot of friends, <laughs> though. It's my, now my auntie next to the line, now my, you see what I'm saying? And then my friends, and, you know, and I got, I got kids, man. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, it never stopped. Like they're giving this shit and help you, it don't stop. You just 
You just gotta keep getting more money. As long as you got money, it ain't gonna be no problem. You know what I'm I just gotta keep having money. So yeah, a lot of people by my past, they might, you know, I already jumped to the conclusion. I'm, you know, gonna be an asshole or mean or over aggressive or I'm some trying to, you know. But you know, nah, I really, I'm, I'm cool, laid back. I ain't got a problem, nobody left, they got a problem, you know, shit. I'm moving forward, like, the view people have on me, like, there's gonna be some that, that love me to death, there's gonna be some that, hey, you know, keep on fuck with me, so I'm keep going, man, I'm gonna push it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I ain't started rapping till, like, so I just got to jail for my own murder. Like, that's when I started rapping, like, what, 2018? Or something? 1918. I wasn't rapping.